Hello, hello. What's up, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and you guessed it, I'm continuing my 31 days of horror movie reviews and my George Romero mini tribute with Survival of the Dead. This is a 2009 horror film that was written and directed by George Romero. Sadly, I think this was his last directed zombie film, at least that I know of. The plot is, it's actually connected to his last movie, Diary of the Dead, where we follow the soldiers, those characters that had a brief moment seen in Diary of the Dead. They pull up to our main characters there and they come in very creepy scene because you're like oh the military the army soldiers we can trust them but as we learn from 28 days later no these guys are out for themselves they rob them and take off this movie we follow those characters even the same uh the same actor who played the lead guy alan van sprang we follow these soldiers they're going around uh, just trying to take up as much supplies and guns and weapons as they can to survive and they they get almost in the middle of this mini war going on between these two groups on a farm trying to gain control and leadership of this farm and oh yeah there are zombies all around them as well now what i think of survival of the dead is i didn't really care for this movie I didn't. Similar to Land of the Dead, I guess, in some ways, but I would put this even a notch below Land of the Dead because I like the idea. I do. I like the idea of having a zombie movie like Diary of the Dead, meeting a certain character or characters like we did, and then doing a spin off movie of those characters, of their story. What did they do after they drove off and stole these characters weapons what what's their background and you see uh the main character sarge crockett aka nicotine he's the leader he's a little bit of a hard ass uh, he came off very creepy in the last that one scene from diary of the dead here though you, you see that he's just trying to do right by his soldiers he's trying to keep as many alive as he can uh, even if that means doing harsh things messed up things but he's just trying to survive a bunch of soldiers in his crew, I would say for the most part, are generic, not really memorable in any sense of the word. Besides, they have her listed as tomboy, but she's played by Athena Carcanis, who I remember seeing in a couple of the Saw movies. I like this actress, I do. I was very surprised to see how her character is introduced in this movie. Literally just masturbating out and outside, not really caring who comes up and sees her. All these guys, soldiers, she's a lesbian. It's like, oh, I guess the tomboy name fits. But besides her, everybody else was a little bland. Uh, they run into who is listed as The Boy, played by Devin Bostick, who He's an actor that I've seen in a few things where mostly I remember seeing his face. He has this face that annoys me just a little bit i don't know why i just look at him and i want him to get killed off they talked to him like he was some little kid and who knows i don't know how old he was here maybe he was a young like teenager or something but he's so tall he looks like he was like 20. anyways uh we see kathleen monroe who plays janet o'flynn and she was the daughter of this guy who he was the leader of these people on this farm, but he was almost excommunicated out at the very beginning of the movie. Uh, and then they eventually come back, and that's where the war on the farm begins. Her character I thought was wasted. I liked the actress. I thought they could have done more with her. There's a couple moments where they make her do some dumb things. Really dumb things. I thought it was interesting that she had a twin sister who had become a zombie, and you had some family dynamic there. But again, her character at the end of the day was wasted the film does have this small independent like film feel it was produced for just like four million dollars and you can tell you're watching it and just it looks cheaper it looks so low budget and that's not that shouldn't be something a strike against the movie because Diary of the Dead was low budget but it didn't feel like it, it never felt slow paced this felt more slow paced this 
it, it felt like they saved their money for like two big scenes. One is a cool action scene where, where they're by the water and zombies are actually swimming and people getting attacked by the water. It's like, okay, I actually have never seen that before in any zombie thing. So there you go. And at the very end, there's this big battle on the farm and a bunch of zombies and a big whole shootout. And you can never really complain about seeing a bunch of zombies getting their heads blown off. I also noticed something that I praised Land of the Dead for and something that George Romero, I would think this, this was hugely important for him in his zombie movies, practical effects, special effects, just the realness of the blood and gore and, and heads exploding. This movie had a lot more CGI too much cgi if you ask me i get it's lo it's a lower budget i get it was probably just cheaper and quicker and easier to do it that way but that i always feel like doing that in horror movies is lazy the the cgi the fake blood it immediately takes me out of it it immediately takes me out of any situation any suspense any thrill type moment seeing zombies on a horse was not something they should have ever done I know Land of the Dead introduced this whole, hey, zombies can do things. They're getting smarter. And this movie tries to go in that direction. I honestly just think that that idea is stupid. Zombies, they are what they are. They're dumb. They're animals. They just want to eat. I don't, I can't picture them actually doing human activities. In so many words, this film was a little lame, a little disappointing, especially because of how much I enjoyed Diary of the Dead. I was hoping for a little bit more here. And it sucks that this is George Romero's last zombie film. That sucks as well. But maybe somebody else likes it. Let me know in the comments below. Have you seen Survival of the Dead? Do you like it more than I do? Or do you agree that, yeah, it's pretty lame? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later! Trimming the bills, how to bend through it all, let me trickle the tear. In case you didn't know, I was living sarcastic. A motherfucking monster, something Jurassic. Have to wrap a whole entire bag in plastic. Smoking bitch, can't switch, fucking with raptors. Killing and a thrilling, and I'm sipping on my four. Oh, this is about a whole entire motherfucking torso. Oh, what a rush, sniffing some more blow. Let the bitch bleed, and I'm making a porno. I'ma keep it going a few times, or I'll pass out. Wake up in the morning, realize I'm blacked out. Yeah, yeah.